So this is a standard Ruger bolt right out of the gun. Um, already getting some fingerprints on it there. Want to make sure it looks good like it does when it comes out of the gun. You know, there it is. Um, I doubt, I mean, they're probably, they're cast aluminum, I'm pretty sure. Um, head spacing is built more for shooting any kind of ammo. If we uh, look at the head spacing a bit. Um, you can see that we're right about at uh, uh, guess it should have held it still, huh? I may not be doing this right, but it'll be close. We're at about point, seems a little much, so make sure I'm level here. 0 0.62, 0.62. <clears throat> some people say that extra headspace is good for flyers and some inaccuracies, etc. Um, I mean, a standard Ruger bolt looks pretty nice. It's, it's polished up. A Ruger on the side. Got a firing pin that's not pinned. And, you know, I have looked at some of the brass after I've shot and they don't hit all at the same place. Um, I know a lot of people make uh, a fuss about people that get their firing pins pinned so they can't move vertically, uh, but somewhat makes sense to me. So if you're going to get, you know, a bolt, competition bolt from like Kid or Tandem Cross, you're gonna, or Valquarts, and you're gonna spend 150 bucks or more, $200 or more, $300 or more. And sometimes that's just not in the budget kind of stuff. So what do you do? Well, maybe the option is just to find someone who, I don't know what the right terminology is, sort of blueprint that thing and actually do the work on it. You need to accurate it for a good price. And I'm hoping that's what I've found here. And we'll be looking at this in a second. Um, <clears throat> this was sent away to someone I read about a long time ago that basically takes that standard river bolt and reworks it. We're gonna see what it looks like today. So far, in a little plastic bag, it's looking pretty good. So here we go. Look at the jeweling on that. It used to look like this. Nice jeweling effect on that surface. Actually, that's really nice. I like that. Um, We look here at the top, firing pin has been trimmed so it can't rise vertically. Um, I think yeah, the back end of this has been radius a good bit. Um, that's important as this is the surface that literally cocks your trigger, pushes the trigger back and recocks it. The rounder that is, the more round it is, the smoother the impact and the smoother the push and less resistance. So that's nice. I'm really digging the jeweling on there. Nothing personal Ruger, but I think I'd rather look at that than the word Ruger. So again, it's been pinned and trimmed. You can see there's been some work done on that. It's trimmed because the headspace is also set back and... You can almost 
see the difference here. The polish and machining on this headspace or the front of the bolt as compared to the other one. Nice and smooth. And let's see what we got here. Take it down to hopefully like 0 0.04. To five, which is recommended. Um, Headspace for 22s. Make sure I've got that nice and flat in there. Flat on the back surface here, flat on the front. There we go. Check it here as well. Point four. 0.42 and a hair. Now that's me manually measuring it. Um, this is probably not the right tool to use for that, I'm sure. But a, a definite difference from this to this. Now I already know how this thing shoots. It'll be interesting to see how this shoots. So you could spend 150 bucks, 200 bucks, $300 um, to get a bolt that's already pinned that has a headspace of 0 0.0425. I think you'll find that SK and Ely and a lot of um, manufacturers talk about that being the best headspace for their rounds. Other people say it decreases flyers and etc. because there's no movement in here once it's pushed in, and especially in a match bore. Um, a better radius on the back end here to have a more smooth transition from the impact on your trigger to the reset of your trigger. Anxious to see how it shoots. You know what that cost? Buy one of these new, you're going to spend 50 bucks ish. Um, if you already have one and you'd like a better headspace, you'd like your firing pin set appropriately. If you'd like to have that firing pin pinned so it can't move. If you like the jeweling on the side. Um, cost to do this was $43 to machine the bolt. And $10, I believe it was $10, to jewel the side. So, for $53, I'm pretty sure I've got a competition bolt that is going to perform exceptionally well in the 22, saving me anywhere from 100 to uh, 150 bucks at least, depending on the manufacturer you buy that bolt from. So I'll let you know how it shoots, um, give you some results on that in the future. This is from the work was done by Randy at Kinetic Precision Chamber, Connecticut Precision Chambers. And... Shipped it in, took a couple weeks, sent it right back. Um, nice and smooth as compared to the cast um, base surface here. Um, obvious better headspace on the front. Pin to firing pin. Radius hammer reset. And jeweling. If it shoots like I've heard it does, and if it shoots like I'm expecting it to, I'll be sending the other one there so that they both have the exact same treatment. And I've saved a ton of money. Awesome. If anybody's had one from CPC, want to make any comments on your experience with how your 22 shot after the work was done, put in the comments. Otherwise, some point in the future, no promise and when, we'll be talking about the performance of this bolt as compared to the traditional um, bolt from Ruger. Talk to you later.